The enhanced sponge function ESP is constructed using two permutation functions. This is in contrast to using only one function, as presented in the seminal paper on sponge functions by G. Bertoni et al. The use of only one function carries traces of merkel damgaard structure. The shuffling between two permuting functions is performed using a message-dependent pseudo-randomly generated key. Using two pseudo-randomly shuffled functions, providing a non-deterministic data path, increases the uncertainty or entropy in the sponge function output bits. We argue that the proposed construction without any loss of generality, closely emulates a random oracle more than the original sponge structure using only one function. The construction of the proposed enhanced sponge function uses two permutation functions F0 and F1. The idea is to provide pseudo-random shuffling of the message blocks, to increase the level of uncertainty or entropy of the output bits. As shown in figure, data is redirected to F0 and F1 in the first stage using two DMUXs. In the next stage which is repeated in the following stages two muxes are used to shuffle the data pseudo-randomly between these two permutation functions. In a software implementation these muxes and DMUXs are nothing but function calls. The key is generated using the message bits, before padding, and two correctors, von Neumann corrector Dave00 and an XOR corrector. The von Neumann corrector acts successively on two consecutive bits of the message. If these two bits are similar they are skipped. However, if they are different either the left or right bit is chosen as part of the pseudo-randomly generated key. To increase the randomness in the key bits, we apply the XOR operation between successive bits resulting from the von Neumann corrector operation. There are two major data paths in this construction, the green dotted path and the red solid path. The green dotted path is adopted when the key bit is 0, while the red solid path is adopted when the key bit is 1. The key bits are inverted in the middle of various iterations to provide better shuffling. It allows no bias in the use of either F0 or F1. This inverter is clearly shown in Figure 1. The construction is then repeated as many times as required. Thus the basic structure of G. Bertoni et al. Construction is preserved. Accordingly, Bertoni's security proofs are also preserved. Still, we have appreciably added to the security of the sponge function by increasing the entropy of the resulting output bits. We conjecture that this construction more closely emulates a random oracle, since the data path is non-deterministic. This construction moves another step away from the standard merkel damgaard construction, where the path is deterministic and applying one function in a pipeline-like structure. The previous figure demonstrates only the enhancement applied to the sponge function. The iterated structure is constructed by repeating the leftmost part, including the muxes and F0 and F1, of the figure in a cascaded form similar to the structure found in BERT 07. This part to be repeated is shown in the dotted rectangle. The permuting function applied in the sponge function design introduced by Bertoni et al., shown in figure, has several limitations. We argue that this permuting function may not provide the required shuffling of the message bits with no bias in the number of ones or zeros. 
This argument can be established by noticing the following. 1. Assuming that sub-block bits are all zeros, then it is clear that the output will remain indefinitely zero regardless of the number of rounds to be used. The N gate output is zero and if the input to the XOR gate is also zero, then the XOR output will be zero. 2. Now if all inputs are all ones, the outputs will be all ones, since the N gate's outputs are all zeros and the XOR with one and zero inputs will output ones. In other words, if all inputs were ones, then by tracing the outputs, they will be also ones. 3. From the above, one concludes that in the boundary case previously discussed all inputs are zeros or all inputs are ones, the permuting function will noticeably perform poorly. The boundary case, while it appears just a theoretical case yet it more or less occurs in audio and video transmissions. 4. In addition, the N gate inherently gives a bias in its output to the zeros with a 3-1 ratio and the XOR does not provide any bias to the ones or zeros. Therefore, there is an expected bias to the zeros in the final output. 5. Since the inputs, the outputs and the operations performed on the block bits are all fixed, there is a significant probability of cyclical behavior of the output. This, in turn, will greatly compromise security. 6. Assuming that the delay per one logic gate is 1 nanosecond, then the average delay of this approach is about 2.5 nanoseconds per bit. In view of the above argument, we will provide a permuting function design that avoids all of the discussed limitations of the function introduced by Bertoni et al. The proposed permuting function is shown in figure 2. In this figure, we use six sub-blocks along with six multiplexers. The multiplexer inputs are taken from four sub-blocks and the select input of the multiplexer is taken from the remaining two block. Two of the inputs of each multiplexer are inverted to ensure that there is no bias to the zeros or to the ones. The multiplexer output bit is then XORed with one of the select bits of the multiplexer. This bit is permuted to a different subblock. We choose the other subblock that was providing the select bit. In Figure 2, we have only shown one multiplexer with its inputs and output bit to simplify the schematic. However, the same basic procedure is to be applied to all other five multiplexers. The average or expected delay in our proposed O approach is about 3.5 nanoseconds per bit, which is not significantly different from the Bertoni's approach. MAG DSAEB, an enhanced sponge function ESP, International Journal of Computer Science and Communications Security IJCSCS, July of 2012 HTTP, www.ijcscs.org Journal MAG DSAEB, an alternative permuting function for the enhanced sponge function ESP. The International Journal of Computer Science and Communications Security IJCSCS, Volume 3, September 2013 HTTP, www.ijcscs.org